Hello and welcome to the another video of Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111 by TechLattice.net. This video will provide you step-by-step -step guide to provision the Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111 virtual machine solution on Google Cloud Platform GCP and once your solution is deployed, we'll see how to start and connect to Automatic 1111 web interface via browser. So let's dive in. Open TechLattice Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111 Web Interface Listing Marketplace. To do so, go to the techlatest.net website. From this page navigate to Products and Support page. Search for Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 product. You can see the product description here. All the details are given on this page. When ready, click on Launch Now on GCP button at top. It will take you to the product's listing page. This video is for provisioning the tech latest stable diffusion solution on GCP Marketplace. If you prefer to provision this solution on AWS or Azure, then kindly check our AWS Getting Started Guide or Azure Getting Started Guide respectively. You can find all the details here. Just scroll down and read the details. Like, default machine type, operating system used, pricing etc. To deploy this solution, click on this launch button. It will ask you to log in to Google Cloud if you are not logged in already. As I am already logged in, launch option is taking me to the VM configuration page directly. On this page, on the top, select the project where you want to provision the VM. Next give a name to your deployment. Select a zone where you want to launch the VM, such as US East 1. Optionally change the number of cores and amount of memory. This defaults to 4 vCPUs and 15 GB RAM. For optimal performance, stable diffusion requires significant processing power, which is best achieved with a GPU instance. However, if the cost of a GPU instance is prohibitive, a CPU instance with higher processing capacity may be used as an alternative. GPUs are not available in some zones and for some instance types. Like for E2 series, you can see GPUs are disabled. We recommend to use this GPU instance here which is NVIDIA T4 with 1 GPU with N1 standard 4, 4 vCPU 15 GB memory, configuration. Or, if you don't want GPU, then go with the N1 standard 4, 4 vCPU 15 GB memory. Or, E2 standard 4. 4 vCPU, 16 GB RAM. For CPU, it's the minimum specifications available. You cannot select less than this. But if you go with the more CPU, it will give you better performance. And also note that instances with AMD GPU are not recommended. GPU instance will perform 10 times or more faster when processing request compared to CPU instance. Typical GPU instance will take few seconds to render images compared to 7 to 10 minutes by CPU instance, hence GPU instances are preferred. For better performance please add GPU from the GPU section. I am selecting one GPU with N1 standard 4 machine type for this video demo. Optionally change the boot disk type and size. This defaults to standard persistent disk and 60 gigabytes respectively. Go with the default network here. As the default network has ports 22 for SSH, 3389 for RDP, and 80 for HTTP exposed. You can provide the IP range or specific IP address here to access the stable diffusion VM. I am providing this 0000/0 to access it from any IP address. Cross check all the configuration once and click deploy when you are ready. TechLattice Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111 web interface will begin deploying. Wait for some time. A summary page displays when the compute engine is successfully deployed. You can SSH to the instance from here or from the instance details page. Click on the instance link to go to the instance detail page. Here you can see all the details about your automatic 1111 virtual machine. After VM launch for the first time, GPU instances will take 5 to 10 minutes and CPU instances will take 15 to 30 minutes to launch the app in the browser. 
Wait for 5 to 10 or 15 to 30 minutes depending on if your VM is GPU or CPU based and then access the stable diffusion GUI via browser. Copy the public IP of the VM which is available on the VM's overview page and paste it in the browser and then hit enter. And please make sure to use HTTP and not HTTPS in the URL when accessing automatic 11.11 interface in GUI. So this is Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 web interface. We will cover all the GUI features and how to get most out of it in our subsequent videos. But just to quickly show you how it works. You can get the dark theme by simply adding question mark, underscore underscore. Theme is equal to dark after the, the public IP of the VM in the address bar. Here we go. The first page over here is text to image window. Provide any text prompt here in this area and click on generate button and wait till it finishes. You can play with the various settings available here and see the variation in the output. You can see various options on this page. We will discuss about them in detail with demos in our next video about Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 features. Output images can be seen in the Image Browser tab. Click on Image Browser and click on First Page to load the images. Image Browser is a type of extension. You can see other extension available over here are Dreambooth and ControlNet. All of these extensions are pre-installed in Tech Latest VM by default so that user can get benefited from them. In Image Browser, click on any image to see its details. You can see the prompt used, steps, sampler, seed and all this information. You can also see the location where the image is saved on this VM. Just in a while I will show you how to access this location. We will also discuss how to install and use extensions in Web UI and our extensions detail video. You can experiment with your art skills using automatic 11.11 UI try different prompts with different settings and you will be amazed with the results it generates. I also want to show you the default directory used for storing generated images. The images created from GUI are stored under Home, Ubuntu, Stable Diffusion, Output, Directory on the VM. To access this directory, you need to first set up the Ubuntu user password in SSH terminal and then connect via RDP to the VM's GUI environment. To SSH to the instance, go to the VM overview page and click on SSH button over here. This will open SSH window in a browser. Once connected, switch to the Ubuntu user by running sudo su ubuntu run sudo password ubuntu command in the terminal and hit enter. Now provide the Ubuntu user password here and reconfirm it. To connect using RDP via Windows machine, again copy the external IP of the VM from VM details page. In the remote desktop connection wizard, paste the external IP and click connect. Check the tick in the box for don't ask me again warning and click. This will connect you to the VM's desktop environment. Provide Ubuntu as the user ID and the password set for the Ubuntu user. Click OK, this is the VM's GUI environment. Again, you need to provide the Ubuntu password here. From VM's desktop, you can access the output images by navigating to Home, Ubuntu. Here we have one setup folder. Inside this Stable Diffusion and Output directory. Stable Diffusion have all these different folders here to organize the output images like text to image, image to image, then this grid folder. Inside this, new folders with the date name conventions will be created whenever you generate the images. We have created a short for stable diffusion folder here. So you can directory access it. Go to outputs directory and text to image folder and here we have all our images. You can also access the source code of the stable diffusion. It is available under source code folder on desktop. One important thing, when you are not using the VM, stop it. Just go to the VM page and click on this three dots here, select stop. Confirm the message. That's it for this video. So, in this video we covered how to launch tech latest stable diffusion with automatic 11.11 web interface from GCP Marketplace and discuss the basic tabs of automatic 11.11 web UI. Please check description for useful links and resources. In our next video, 
we will discuss how to provision and connect to the stable diffusion solution provided by techlatest.net on Azure Cloud. Stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.